That brings us to our final reason. We've discussed this and debated it and came to an executive decision. I mean, yeah. This show is it's the it's closest crazy. show that we've watched to Game of Thrones. It's, it's gotta be at this point. Period. I think comparable only to, to Game of Thrones. You'll see the comparisons happening to... She can see into the future. He is the one. Permanent bond between Wessex and Mercia. A lot of people don't have the budget that a Game of Thrones has, obviously, but based on whatever budget they had, I mean, the scenery was really, really dope. Because Thrones gives you everything, like high-level acting, high-level writing, high-level cinematography, production, costume design, like everything is just fire. Last Kingdom gives you a kind of all those same elements. Yeah, the parallels are very obvious. Anything that you see like that nowadays, you instantly compare it to Game you of Thrones. To. You will leave Northumbria, you will not return, I swear! If we see something that's gonna be similar to that, we're going to watch it. It can be a lot and intimidating to remember names and factions and kingdoms and and families and everything. And a big critique of Game of Thrones is that in the beginning it's very slow. But I'm pretty sure The Last Kingdom got right to it from jump. Like they were not playing games. Yeah. It starts on a path of revenge. This dude wants revenge. He's a very complex kind of individual, but he's kind of easy to root for. 